I'm going to show you how to set up a really simple saving and loading feature for your games in GameMaker. Don't forget to follow me on X, x.com slash wizardy. You can follow all my crazy projects on there, like this bouncing bobbing man that I don't know what I'm doing with, but it kind of looks cool. So let me show you what we're doing. Uh, I have this guy, he's walking around, and I have hit points on the top left. I'm going to damage those hit points. I'm going to move him way over here, and I'm going to save the game. All right, I'm going to close the game and relaunch it, and we're going to load that again. So I'm going to load it, and there we go. Our hit points are back to where we saved them to be, and we're at the position that we wanted to load at. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so just for the sake of this video, I made these uh, assets here. I made a script called Save Game and another one called Load Game, but there's nothing in them right now. I also have an object called Object Game Saved. I went ahead and made these events, Alarm 0, Key Press L for Load, and F5 for Save, but there's no code in it. And of course, I put the game save in the actual room it needs to be in. So, let's go ahead and do this. So, the first thing we need to do is code our save game. So let's do that. So make a script asset and make sure you just have function save game. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to say var buffer equals buffer create 1024 buffer grow one. Okay. So in the last video, I did a tutorial on buffers and I recommend you check that out. The link for that is in the description if you don't understand buffers. But we're essentially creating a buffer. A buffer is a low-level data structure. It's the most efficient way to move a lot of data fast. And just like you would with a DS list or uh, an array, you have to create it first. Uh, so that's what we're doing. We have to create a buffer. And the next thing we have to do after that is put data into the buffer that we actually want to save. What's cool about buffers is there's a function built into GameMaker that lets you save a buffer as a file and you can load it up later. With buffers, you can read and write uh, data into it. So we're going to write data into this buffer and then we're going to save it. So I hope I'm not going too fast. Thank you for the comments and the feedback for these videos. It's helped a lot. I'm trying to respect your time here. Uh, so buffer write, we're going to say buffer. And the first thing we want to save is our player's X and our Y position. So we're going to use a buffer uh, F32. And again, there's a tutorial in the description, but you can always open up the guide for GameMaker to see the different types of buffer, uh, the types of data that you can write in a buffer. And there's a bunch of them. There's U8, buffer U8, which is any number between 0 and 255. So you cannot go into the negatives when you use like a U8, U16, U32, all of these are just larger numbers. U16 is like 0 to, to 65,000. U32 is 0 to 4 million. Uh, but if you want to go into the negatives, you uh, use an S. So like S8 is negative 128 to 127. Uh, buffer S16 is minus 32K to positive. Okay, so you get the picture. There's also strings. There's also true and false. So there's a bunch here. Go check them out. But with buffers, you need to be very specific about the type of data that you are, uh, that you're writing. So we're doing an F32, uh, and uh, here we go. So this is going to be our X. So we're going to say object player dot X. Uh, there we go. So we put that data in, and I'm just going to copy and paste that and also save our Y position. So this already writes our X and Y to the buffer. Um, just to save time once more, I'm going to just copy and paste, and I'm going to change this to buffer U16. I mean, we could probably get away, actually, with U8, because that would give us up to 255, and we're going to save our hit point variable. So, essentially, all the data that you want to save, you're going to have to define that in this script. And this could get very in-depth. It could, it could get pretty complicated. If you want to save all the enemy positions or NPC positions or positions of certain items, you'll have to loop through those. And I might actually have to do another video just to explain that because uh, there's a certain way you have to load that. So anyway, sorry, thinking out loud. Okay, the last thing we're, gonna, we're going to uh, save is our, the room that we're in. So buffer write, buffer, and we're going to save that as a string. 
and we're going to say room get name, which is a function in GameMaker that actually gets the name of the asset of a room. So uh, like this would return room one, which is where we start in. Um, so there you go. That'll save it as a string. Okay, so it's pretty much that easy because then all you have to do is say buffer save and uh, just say the buffer you want to save, which is, we called it buffer. Uh, and then just the name of the file. So save file dot dat dot dat. Uh, and then we'll say buffer delete because we don't need it anymore. And then we'll just say show message you have saved the game. And there you go. So obviously you might want to save more data than this, but that's how you do it. And this will save the game. Now that's going to be useless unless we can load the game. So let's do that end of it. Function load game. And we're going to say this, if file exists. So we're going to check if the file even exists. Otherwise we might get an error. So if file exists, make this a little bigger. Um, now we're going to say var buffer, and then we're going to say buffer load, and we're going to say save file dot that. There we go. This is going to essentially whatever was in here uh, on your save game, which is all this data, it's going to load it from a file and put it all right here. So that means you're going to be able to read that data that you saved, which is very cool. So now let's um, let's load all that data. So we're going to say object player dot x equals buffer read buffer, and you have to be specific about what type of buffer you used. If you remember, the x and the y is buffer f32. So that's our x. We're just going to copy and paste that for our y, uh, and then of course. You know, when I'm working with buffers, I'm always going back to check because you have to make sure it's in order all the time. So it's like F32, F32, F8, and then string. It has to be in that order. One piece of code I did forget, anytime you're reading data from a buffer, uh, because it goes in order, uh, and it will... It, it, okay, just trust me on this. You always have to say buffer seek. If, again, if, you, if you're new to buffers, before you read data, buffer seek, buffer... Buffer seek start, zero. Okay. This is important because this essentially goes to the top of the buffer, so it does read it in order. You, you really want to make sure you have that. So put this uh, right before you read the data. Okay, then we're going to read our hit points. I'm just going to copy-paste. Uh, we're going to say hit points, and we're going to say, what was it, U8? And then we'll mess with our room later. We, we, we might as well load it. Um, I don't know what we could call the variable right now. I guess just var save room. And we'll deal with this later. Uh, what do we say? That buffer string? So we're not going to load rooms right now. And then we're going to clean it up. So we're going to say buffer delete uh, buffer. And then I think that's, that's it. Yeah. That's about all we need to do. Uh, other than show, yeah. Game has been loaded. And then, of course, because we are checking if this file exists, we can say else. Uh, all right, probably pretty important if you're uh, going to use this in a game. Okay, then go to your oops, go to your object game save, and uh, uh, the alarm zero we're not going to use right now. And we're just going to say game save, and then that's for F5, and then press L. Game load. So however, if you have a button or whatever, that's all you do. You're just going to use these two uh, functions. So, oop, my bad. I think. Did I, did I name, I didn't, li I didn't name these right. So it's save game. I'm like, why is this giving me an error? Okay. All right. I had a massive brain fart. For your key press F5, it's not game save, it's save game. <laughs> and then it's load game. Okay. It's just the name of your functions. Good grief, man. And now it's going to work. So we run the game, walk around, damage our hit points, press F5, you have saved the game. End it, load, click L, game has been loaded. It's that easy. This can get as deep and as complex as you want it, but this should start you in the right direction. Um, in the next video, I'll do a follow-up.
to just show you how to load this room so you have multiple room support. Uh, so thank you for watching. See you next video.